Okay, today we're going to talk about if you should do a white gold engagement ring or a platinum engagement ring. It's Miriam! When it comes to white gold, we can do 10 karat, 14 karat, or 18 karat. Anything above 18 karat is just way too soft for an engagement ring, and so we really are going to keep it within 10, 14, 18. Okay, so white gold is actually plated in rhodium. Rhodium is like a liquid metal in the platinum family. That's what gives white gold its nice white lustrous finish. Some people are a little bit thrown off by the fact that they might have to replate their ring. Keep in mind, fine jewelry really should be maintained and replating only needs to be done every few years. Where you're gonna really see the plating wearing off is gonna be at the bottom of the ring because that's what takes the most wear and tear. The difference between 10 karat, 14 karat, or 18 karat really just comes down to the gold composition. As a carat of the gold goes up, the purity of the gold goes up and uh, you, you start to pay a bigger premium just because there's more gold content in there. Visually though, with white gold, because white gold is played in, in rhodium, you're not gonna see a difference between 10 karat, 14 karat, or 18 karat. So probably our most popular metal that we work with is 14 karat white gold. Um, white gold has a nice rigidity to it because the mixing alloys, one of the mixing alloys that we use is nickel. In some cases, our clients might have a nickel allergy, and so that would mean that we cannot set the ring in 14 karat or even 18 karat, just because a trace amount of nickel could be enough to just have a complete allergic reaction. And so in that case, we're only gonna consider platinum. Now, in order for a ring to be legally stamped platinum, it has to be 95% pure. Usually it's mixed in with iridium, another mixing alloy, but again, the purity content is so high. And so if we have any allergy issues or sensitivity issues, platinum is an amazing option. So white gold is really great if you're looking for a ring that has a nice white lustrous finish, that's really coming from the rhodium. Um, if you want a precious metal that's also more durable, I would probably recommend white gold. Probably 14 karat white gold is our most popular. But if you are looking for a higher purity content metal like platinum, um, there's some things to consider about platinum. Platinum is a very dense metal. If you're weighing two rings, the exact same, one made in 14 karat white gold, the other one made in platinum, you can actually feel the platinum ring is a little bit heavier. It's really dense. Now, because it's dense, a lot of times clients will misunderstand this to mean that it's the strongest metal. It's actually dense, but it's softer on the surface. You're gonna see more nicks and scratches on a platinum ring versus a white gold ring. Again, just, just due to the nature of the, the metal itself. The other thing to consider, you're gonna pay a bigger premium for platinum versus white gold, just because the, the material purity content is way higher than, than white gold. Because even at 18 karat, we're at about 75% gold, um, whereas platinum, it's 95%. Um, so you're gonna be paying more for the material cost. It also has a higher labor cost than white gold. My jewelers that can set in gold cannot set in platinum. My platinum jewelers are specialists. They know how to work with it. It's at higher temperatures and platinum jewelers can also work on gold. Here's the other thing that's the biggest difference between uh, white gold versus platinum. So platinum does not have to be plated like white gold. White gold, remember, it's plated in rhodium. So rhodium is that liquid metal that gives white gold its nice white lustrous finish. Platinum doesn't have to be plated. It is a white metal, but it's more of a white gray metal. So platinum is great for my clients that want more of a vintage vibe to it, more of a gray white metal instead of the white white metal that you might find on a white gold ring. I also find a lot of my male clients love it for their wedding bands because it's gonna take on a more distressed look and it really becomes a creation of the wearer. So there you have it the difference between a white gold or a platinum engagement ring. We'd love to show you the differences. Like we say with anything and everything, you need to compare it for yourself, take a look at it side by side, same environment, different lighting conditions, and you'll know with certainty which one's right for you.